the general concept of the solar zone was to try to really create a place where we could be a world leader in new solar energy development. Um, Aminex is one of the leaders in concentrated solar power, uh, solar photovoltaics, so the marriage of the two is uh, extraordinary for us. And uh, bringing a world leader like this company into Tucson is going to put us on the face of the map in the solar world. The mission of the Tech Park is to create environments, facilities, and amenities that support the growth and emergence of technology companies and the deployment of new technology into the marketplace. Given that solar is relatively young and still in terms of efficiency and, and so forth, very mature. This is the perfect confluence of the Tech Park's mission to help catapult new technology to the marketplace and the need for companies to grow and develop and improve their technologies in affiliation with a top 15 research university in the United States. The technology this is based on was uh, super high efficiency solar cells that were developed for space. So many people don't know this, but solar powers all our satellites. And you want a very high efficiency panel to power a satellite because you have to lift it into space. And Aminix is the first company to uh, terrestrialize that technology and put it into solar power applications here on Earth. This is the largest concentrating photovoltaic plant in the country. Uh, it's in a perfect place. It's Tucson where it's so sunny. And uh, our units perform extraordinarily well in a uh, sunny environment. So, we're pleased to be here. We're uh, working with a great utility, Tucson Electric's very progressive, uh, and, a, and a great partner in the university. The whole thing started with a vision of mine to say, I want to make low-cost solar electricity for the masses. That was many years ago, and took 20 years in making. And today we're standing right in behind me, in front of you, the most efficient, uh, the most powerful solar electric generators in the world. I believe this is the future, this kind of technology. There are many, many technologies, but for large scale solar electric generation. These two megawatts represent the first utility scale project developed in our region by a solar developer out of the competitive RFP process. This project represents more than 5,000 megawatt hours annually of clean, emission-free energy to serve our customers, eliminating more than 10 million pounds of carbon dioxide each year. It's one of the cornerstones of the solar zone and represents the reality of a vision when you bring together the strength of a utility like TEP, the dedication of a research institute like the University of Arizona, and the commitment of a developer like Aminix. This is truly one of the cornerstone projects and this is a, I'd have to say that this is gonna be a standard by which we're gonna measure many of the projects that come here. Tucson is leading, not only Arizona, but leading in the Southwest and in many ways leading the country in embracing the future of renewable energy and making it a reality. I want to praise Aminix, the University of Arizona, specifically the Science and Tech Park here, and Tucson Electric Power for creating a unique partnership that brings scientific innovation and economic benefits to the city of Tucson and their citizens. I certainly am proud to have this located in my legislative district. Uh, I think there's a lot of benefits to, to uh, our society, uh, both in the U.S., but globally, to moving away from coal. This is doing that, and it's doing it in a way that doesn't use uh, a lot of water. A lot of the concentrated utility scale solar systems use a uh, significant amount of water, which in some parts of the country might be fine. We don't have a lot of extra water for that in uh, the southwest. So this is good new technology that we need um, here in Tucson and it really represents I think the movement towards a 21st century economy in the state of Arizona in the southwestern uh, U.S. in general which is positive for all of us. Well I feel very proud that the city of Tucson and the University of Arizona and TEP have all worked together along with the county to make sure that there are facilities available for these kinds of technologies to be installed. So this is a really excellent spot for this kind of innovation and for investment. I'm just delighted that Aminex has decided to partner with the University of Arizona Tech Park and Tucson Electric Power. The collaboration has produced 500 uh, homes worth of power. I'm very excited about putting this power into the grid. It's uh, also important that this is not using any H2O in its production. The water issue out here, we are a water economy. Our potable water situation is, is dire, as you well know. 
And I think all the folks in this community are looking for industries that are going to support uh, the environment while also creating good job opportunities. On behalf of uh, myself and the uh, TRIO Board of Directors, which represents nearly 70,000 employees in, in southern Arizona, we want to welcome Aminex and, and Bahan and Brian to this community. Your technology, your investment really validates that, that Tucson and Arizona are, are figuring it out, that we're getting it right to a large degree.